everybody, it's Twyla's mom, Lisa, and today is Wednesday, December 28th, and it is Organizing Wednesday. <laughs> today I'm going to show you how I organize my ribbon. Um, now, I do have holiday ribbon in a separate container with all my other holiday um, crafts and everything. So I'm just going to show you <clears throat> how I organize ordinary ribbon. No Christmas or anything like that. Just ordinary ribbon I use for ordinary crafting and things like that. So I used to have it left on the roll. Well, when you leave ribbon on the roll, it takes up a lot of room. So, what I have started doing is taking it off of the rolls and I will just cut a piece of cardboard, kind of like this, and roll the ribbon around the cardboard. And then I found uh, these snacky the small size baggies will hold a whole roll of ribbon unless you have a big roll you know the ones that are real wide and long and everything but in this box right here I have all of my glittered ribbon and this is the ribbon that we found at Dollar Tree and everything and they're the ones with all the gemstones on it and I have them in their very own box uh, my phone is ringing, so just give me a moment, and I'll be right back, okay? Okay, everybody, I'm back. Um, so we saw the box with my um, glittered ribbons, and now we're going to see the box. I'm going to move the light just a little bit. There we go. That's a little better. In this container, I have... Uh, printed ribbons. Now I did leave this one on the spool because as you can see it's very wide and uh, yeah <laughs> I would probably need a storage size baggie to put this one in. But all my ordinary rolls of ribbon I was able to take off. This was a full size ribbon, full size spool of ribbon put it in its own baggie and if I have any scraps after you know like if I've pulled some off and I've cut it and I didn't need all of it I can put the scraps in this particular ribbon or baggie with the rest of the spool and also too I did have this spool which was a little bit wider and it was a full spool spool of ribbon and it fit fine right there and then like here's this one there is no way that I could have fit all of this ribbon in one of these right here one of these shoebox type storage containers no way at all and then in this box is my solid colored ribbons. Now I did give it the bigger box because it is, um, I have more of it. Oh, and I also put my twines all in one baggie. You know, the Baker twines, I also put that in one baggie all right here. But yeah, it all fits nice and everything. And ribbon is very forgiving see how these are kind of crinkled up a little bit now if I need these to be straightened I can take my flat iron you know the flat iron you use for your hair you can take one of those on the low setting and just kind of iron it out just like you would your hair um, you can even use an ordinary iron to iron out the, the cre creases and the wrinkles. But for the most part, I haven't had too many issues with it being so wrinkled and crinkly that I've had to um, iron it. But anyway, I know this is really short and everything. 
<laughs> but we are kind of getting to the point where um, I think I'm done showing you how I organize in my um, craft room. And we might move on to different parts of my kitchen in a couple of weeks. If there is, by some chance, something else you'd like to see how I organize it or keep track of it and stuff, just leave a comment below letting me know, hey, you know, would you show me how you, you know, organize such and such. And if I have those particular items or whatever, I will show them to you. Oh, and yes, this weekend is um, New Year's Eve, which means that I take my Christmas tree down on Sunday, which will be, <coughs> excuse me, everyone, which will be New Year's Day. I will take my Christmas tree down. And I thought I might get on here and show you how I store my Christmas tree. Um because it isn't a real tree or anything but i thought i might get on here and show you how i store it so next week we may do an organizing and a craft video for next wednesday so but yeah just let me know if there's something else here in my craft room you'd like to see how i organize or what have you and um <coughs> Boy, I have a tickle in my throat. I'm going to get off of here so I can go and get a drink of water. <laughs> I hope you all have a great, great week. And um, don't forget to subscribe, give a thumbs up, and leave me a comment. I love to hear from each and every one of you. And I really hope this has helped you kind of figure out how to store some of your ribbons. Um because the spools do take up a lot of room. <laughs> okay, guys, I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.